and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're parked on runway 19 at Brisbane International Airport and we're going to have a look again at how to fly your aircraft if you don't have any uh, rudders or joysticks and you need uh, your mouse and just a uh, keypad to do your flying. So let's have a look at it. And it's a bit of a revision of uh, an original video, probably the most popular video I've got on the channel to be honest. Um, I've had a quite a number of people ask me about the rudders particularly of late. I think everyone's okay here, um, although I'm, I find this quite sensitive to, to move. It, it's very difficult to fly, but you can do it. Um, but let's have a look at how these things work down here. So let's go up. If you need to set up um, some rudders and trims and stuff, come into here and come up to keyboard. And what you need to do is, oh, you can see I'm already there, but if that wasn't there, you would be here. And you just type in rudder and go boop. And there we are. So we've got a rudder center, rudder left, rudder right, as you can see here. Now you can see there's nothing there at all. And if we go over to joystick, you can see that I have nothing plugged in. I've disconnected everything because this is how you would see it. So let's go back to there. Now, for me, the logic to this would be, because I fly the aircraft, if I'm going to fly and I use the mouse, the mouse is in my left hand. That's just the way it is for me. If it's right for you, then hey, you could you could do um, a number of other keys if you wish to. You can assign these to anything, providing it's not important to your flight, if you're uh, changing assignments to your keyboard. You could use uh, X, uh, X as a center, Z as a left, and a C as a right if you were flying if you're using your mouse in your right hand so it depends on what you need but for me i'm going to use one two and three on the keypad i'm going to use rudder center under my middle finger we need to add one so we just add the plus button there hit two and two, number two on the, on the number pad is going to be center this is left rudder so it seems pretty logically that one because that's under my first finger would be there centers under my middle and then we need a right rudder so I'll use my right and that's number three and that's already done all fixed for you now you might want to set up a couple of other things as well so um, I'm going to have a go because I had a little try at this and it was difficult it is difficult to do let's go with um, oh no engine engine search uh, no Carby heat mixtures. So a lot of these things you would probably want to assign to to some keys so that you can use them. So throttle governor, throttle governor, mixture. I'm just looking for engine. Engine power. Maybe we'll try power. Power's not right. Okay. Thought that was fairly logical, but it doesn't appear to be. Uh, throttle T H R O throttle down a bit throttle up a bit so we've got F1 F2 um, I might reassign that I think to uh, minus and plus because I want plus it's that's a bit reversed really but the minus I'm going to reassign the up because it's at the top so uh, get rid of that and then that I'm going to use the numpad key there and then on this one I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to add the plus key so plus will pull it down and the the minus I guess will power up maybe that's the wrong way around but we'll see how it works that seems logical to me if I want more power I'll add to the top if I want to go down I'll go to the left flaps and things you can set those up as well this is something I probably won't use outside this video because I have the I have a joystick and everything to use guys so We've got a couple of things done. Now, other things that we can have a look at, you can save your profiles here. And um, what else can we do? Uh, joysticks. Now, you've got control sensitivities here as well. Um, I, in playing with this, I thought I would move these over. So that's no fine grain control near the center. Max fine grain control near the center. Control response. Um, I wanted that full linear I might go with somewhat fine roll 
somewhat fine. We'll see how that works. And we will just go back to where we started here. So now, um, if I hit the minus, my power goes up. If I hit the plus key, which is below it, the power comes back. It's the same direction as the throttle moves. If I hit fire, uh, 2 on my numpad, it's centered. If I hit right, and it's about 10 presses to full from the center. And if I press number 1, it goes in. And there we are on the center. Now trim as well. Um, I think I'm just going to have a little nose down trim in that because I think it tends to want to nose up. Flaps are off. So with everything you can just move this around. Get yourself comfortable and be aware that you only have a, you don't have to move it very much to, to get a lot of uh, reaction. So we'll see how we go getting this off the ground. It's going to be a laugh one way or the other. So let's get a little bit of power and let's get hold of the joystick. I'm just going to add, add a little power. Get us moving. A uh, couple of dabs on the rudder center. I think I'm going to have one on the no, center. Just trying to trying to get it centered so that I can and I'm just doing the takeoff very slowly let's get it up there trim center center right trim center it's very slow more power get up to full power right trim center and let's just come back off and I'm going to center my rudders out hopefully casually right power back as we frighten everybody here at uh, Brisbane International very very small movements in the mouse gotta tell you it's very slight so I'm just gonna let that build up a bit I don't want to stall try and keep my mouse as still as possible while I get some more speed. I'm going to be challenged to uh, just make a little left hand turn. And to be honest guys, when you're flying you won't need rudder particularly. Um, you can see that it requires a little rudder. If you look down there at the ball where the aer little aeroplane's turning, but it's not super crucial. It will be a little bit more crucial if you're flying a large aircraft and you need to uh, help a turn. They do seem to need a bit more rudder or quite a bit more rudder to get them to come around. If you saw my recent video flying the 747, which was pretty much the, fir was the first time I'd flown it, um, it flew it around and tried to land it. I was surprised how much rudder I needed on that one. So we're on a, a bit of a down leg. I'm going to power back a little bit. Let that come down. I might do a flapless landing, to be honest, because um, unless I'm nice and stable, by the time I put my mouse over there and pull the um, flaps down one level, it might be a little hard. And the other thing is, I could grab the mouse, uh, sorry, grab the right hand yoke as I do that too, and that would be pretty disastrous. So. Maintaining a thousand feet, we'll do a flapless landing. Give that a go. Do our best. It'll probably help us not to float. I'm just dropping the power slowly and getting myself back to about. Mm, that's not bad. Oh, <laughs> we've just been fired at, guys. I forgot. I left the um, the combat button turned on, so there's someone launching missiles at us. I think. Let's see if we can get down. Something that uh, I thought was a bit of fun. I'm going to have a, a go at a video on it uh, in the near future. And we'll just see how uh, how combat X-Plane 11 is. See how well it is, how good it is to do combat in. And considering they've fired at a little Cessna and they've missed me, I wonder. But we'll give it a bash. Let's have a look left. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Try and give ourselves a nice gentle approach from uh, a reasonable distance out. The speed is good. 
So we will try and just... I think I'll go for, go for a little left turn. You can see you would need... See, oh, some more launches. There's jets flying around everywhere. Who knows? Um, okay, we'll come across this way. This will be uh, something of a base leg. Need to turn pretty tight to get round. Let's look back to the front. And let's drop the power back. Sort of just gliding. Okay. Let's see how we go. So it could go could go to hell in a handbasket once we get to the ground. Okay, power's off, power's off. Just gliding currently. Here again. Boy, I tell you, it's terrible. <laughs> Don't move your mouse too much. It, it's too sensitive as it is. It needs to be desensitized, which you can probably do through the Windows control panel. Thinking about it, you can probably go there and uh, and desensitize how much you have to move around the screen. You may have to change it back once you go back to doing things outside X Plane, but we're not doing too bad. Our speed's good. We're just a tad high. Just a little bit left. And I haven't had to use the rudders, guys. It's been been okay. I'm just getting a little bit of an isolation oscillation happening here. It's uh, oh not that much. Come on. Come on. This could end up getting nasty. Nose down, nose down. Nose down and oh left, 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 brakes, brakes, brakes. Well, made it, made it. <laughs> but it, it is certainly a challenge, guys. So if you're up for a challenge and you don't have a joystick, I'm sure you're going to do work out how to do it and get it a lot smoother than me for a quick one. But again, if you uh, you need to set up your controls up to the top here, go to your joystick and then move across to keyboard. Type in what you want to do. In this case, you know, most of the the questions I had was rudder. So rudder. Enter that. And then make a selection. Remembering, it's not like a joystick where if you, you push it over and hold it, if you hold the key down, it doesn't continue to move. You have to tap it to make it go one way or the other. But once you're finished and get it all set up, get your flaps set up on some keyboards that are convenient for you. Flaps up and down, um, spoilers, whatever you, whatever you need to do for whatever you're flying. If you're flying big jets and you need reverse thrust and stuff, um, set up buttons for yourself that are really convenient to you. You've got your insert, your home, your page, delete, end and page down buttons there that might be convenient for just looking after engine management and then uh, pick up something that's convenient again for your autopilot because you probably want to fly a bit more on autopilot I think doing this but I hope, hope that was helpful for you. Now this, this notice that you have to push this and pull this out to the right now. That's something I don't remember having to do in the past. Uh, it may have been there but um, yeah, it's, that was a nice little touch as well. So until next time, if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Look forward to uh, catching you in the next Let's Fly VFR video. And uh, feel free to pop over and have a look at letsflyvfr.com. Slowly working on building that up for you and getting more and more items so that you, uh, if you're looking for something and you'd like to support the channel in the process, feel free if you can would like to purchase a new joystick or hotas or anything you like uh, it's all there it's all just through amazon so nothing special and uh, they'll get it out to you as quickly as amazon always do and i will catch you back here at the next video at let's fly vfr catch you again soon guys bye bye